Hey guys, Joshua Bainsek. I've got a really cool video for you today. It is a leather test. I'm gonna do all kinds of stuff. I got some G-Song case, premium leather, you know, cowhide, the top of the line kind of leather. Put some fire to it, gonna cut it up, gonna tear it up, knife it up, however you wanna say it. So we're gonna start off with a fire test. And I got this iPhone 5 G-Song case. Just to give you a look at the design, you have a leather inside, you have a leather material on the outside as well. So it's definitely premium. One of the ways that you can actually test a leather, one is to smell it. It should give a good smell. And from this test, the fire will tell you if the leather is not affected, by just putting a flame over it for a few seconds, it's actually the real deal. So as you can see here, there's nothing affected by the letter at all when I put the flame to it. Now, if it kind of shrinks up, bubbles up, or anything like that, it's fake. Now, one of the things I noticed here is that you start to see a little bit of blackening happening, but that's not from the leather. It's actually just from like the glue between the two leather materials. Another indicator about fake leather is typically you don't see it sewn together. You see it kind of put together or mesh together. You don't really see it um, kind of sewn together. On this part here, it does blacken a little bit more, but again, it's the material on the, between the two materials. So that was the iPhone 5. This is a Note 2 case, basically the same kind of material but we're just gonna test it out for the heck of it, just for quality assurance. Now, I don't recommend doing this by yourself. You know, I took some safety precautions and things like that, so definitely, you know, I'm doing this test for you. Again, same material pretty much. The inside's a little bit different. This has, you know, it's, an, it's the cowhide. And another indicator, again, is you're gonna see a non-repetitive pattern on the leather, and that's another indicator whether it's real or fake. So when you see imperfections, usually it's the real deal. And again, I saw some blackening towards the top, and that's actually from the glue that's between the two materials. I can put the flame on the inside, and you can see how it survives as well until I just have it hovering over there for a long time and anything's gonna burn up when you have it, you know, pretty much against it for a while. Now this is a cheap little case. It's not real leather. And you can kind of tell how here, you see the leather kind of kind of well up a little bit. You just kind of see a bubble start to form. So that's an indicator that it's definitely fake. And you can just see it kind of bubbling up a little bit more there. Another indicator about fake leather is that um, the smell, usually you have the, this nice, really good smell, but sometimes that's not actually very accurate because unfortunately some companies, they can put a spray onto the material and make it smell like leather, so it's actually not the real thing. But this one, for one, this case does not smell like anything. It just smells like a typical plastic case. And for kicks and giggles, I've had this little case for a little while. It's a Verizon tablet sleeve. And I was really curious uh, to see if it was fake or not. And it actually turns out to be the real deal. So, yay Verizon. And just to show you some more, a little bit closer, you can see the leather is not affected at all. And on the inside, I was wondering if it was like a felt material or if it was leather. And it is actually leather. Just a little bit different material. Or kind of texture. So this sleeve, it passes the test as well. Here we are. And we're going to have some fun with this one. I'm going to take a knife to it. You know, try to pull the seams apart and see how it looks, what it looks like on the inside, bare bones, 
and some more indicators if this is fake or not and just to kind of have some fun with it tearing it up who has and by the way these cases the gson case they're actually rather expensive um, they're affordable for what they are but this is a 65 dollar case for the iphone and the galaxy note 2 one that i'll show you in just a little bit that goes for about 70 dollars you know when it first comes out so this is high dollar stuff Now some of the other indicators that you can tell if it's fake or if it's real is just how it's put together. You can see how it's put together layered on top of each other versus um, sewing it together. And when you tear it up, you know, these scissors, um, they're going to make a nice cut into it. But when you start to tear it up, you'll really be able to see if it's, if it's fake or if it's real. One of the real ways to tell is by the fibers when you pull it apart. If the fibers look real stringy, it's fake, but if it's kind of fine, it's real. And this is just kind of showing you some of the, the innards of this case. This has like a suction cup to help keep it closed versus a magnet or, you know, a strap or anything like that. So here we are pulling this apart some more, kind of give you the, the skeleton of it now. And here is what I was telling you about. You see how the fibers are nice and fine? This shows that it's definitely real. And then the underside is a nice kind of soft texture. And here's a, even a closer look at it. You can just see how the fibers are just nice and fine. They're not torn apart. They're not real stringy. And just for fun, I went ahead and cut it just to kind of see what it looks like there. You can kind of see how even extra fine that it is. And that's actually a plastic shell that they wrap the leather around. So pretty much it does it for the iPhone 5 case. Let's move on to the Galaxy Note 2. Now this leather inner material is a little bit different from the iPhone 5. Both feel really soft. This one actually I think has a different soft feeling to it. So again I'm going to take the knife yeah, just kind of peel away at it and fast forward to get you through the boring part. And you can kind of really see how it's put together. It's definitely handmade leather casing. And this is going to show you some pretty cool stuff here. It took a little while to pull all this to, apart, so that's why I fast forwarded it. Didn't want to, here's a little slow-mo for you. You can kind of definitely tell, like, if you're stretching it like that, it's like skin. It's not, like, a fake leather material. So you can definitely tell how if you stretch it. That's another indicator if it's fake or if it's real. And this is going to help you see once I'm going to pull it apart. And you can see the fibers again, just really fine. This is the real deal. Alright, so let's tear this apart some more for kicks and giggles. Take off the little symbol there. And you can see the bare bone skeleton of the Note 2. And here is some more of the material. I'm just going to take some fire to it for the heck of it. Why not? Let's burn some more stuff. And the inside kind of melted a little bit, but that's because of the glue that was there. And as you can see, when I put it on the outside, it was not affected at all. So again, it's still, it's really the real deal, the real stuff. When you buy a G-Song case, case you're getting real leather. You're not getting fake stuff at all. And I just busted this up just for the heck of it. Boom. I have... Had some fun with some video editing here, a little slow-mo, a little bit of fast-paced stuff, just to kind of have some fun with it, learning some new techniques. And again, fast forward through all the boring stuff, there's nothing much to see. Couldn't really tear that apart anymore, so another cool thing I wanted to show you was how durable these cases are. They're not going to tear up, they're not going to be, you know, busting up on you. And the last little indicator I want to show you is the fingerprint test or I should say fingernail press test or something like that. If you see, uh, basically if your skin, if you were to do that to your own skin, you'll see a little impression. 
and the same thing is for leather. If you don't see an impression and stuff like that, it's fake. And here's our fake leather case. This is just like a $3 case, if that. And, you know, just kind of like a standard flip cover. Really easy to take apart. It cuts like paper and cardboard. So these are just some different ways that you can tell if it's fake or real. You know, you basically you're going to get what you pay for. If you think you're buying a leather case for three bucks, chances are you might not actually be paying for a real case. A real leather case, I should say. Hopefully this taught you some lessons about testing out leather and how to buy. Please subscribe to this channel and I'll see you the next one.